Hi guys, um, as you saw, we stayed the night, or overnight, actually no. We didn't stay full night, um, we went in eventually because my hammock was not um, up to par. Because I did not have enough time to work on it, we, we were very uh, un unprepared. But um, I've been working on the hammock idea, um, or I've, I've been thinking about it, and I decided to try and make a wool blanket um, transform into a hammock. And I tried it and it worked, and I'm obviously very excited about that because it's warm. Um, wool is um, wool is the only, only material to retain like 90% of, of its insulating qualities when it's wet. Um, so it still really helps insulate you when it's wet. Also, I think it's somewhat um, waterproof. So the wool blanket hammock is definitely a good invention, especially if you already have a reflector and a fire. You would be really warm in um, really cold, cold weather. So I'll, I'll set you up, I'll set it up um, for you right now, and I'll see what what you you guys think of it. I really like it because um, it, the wool blanket is obviously now multi-purpose. It can serve as a hammock. Um, which a hammock would, would, would replace a raised bed, and raised beds I think are just completely hor horrific. I mean, I, I, I would sleep in one if I had to, but um, it would definitely not be a good good um, choice for me, or the top choice for me to sleep in. And the uh, wool hammock could, uh, or the wool blanket hammock could serve as a hammock also just take off the strings and it could serve as a um, blanket. So obviously that would be good to have in your pack. And usually pe people carry blankets um, even without the use of a hammock just to have as a blanket. Because obviously a wool blanket is very um, good to have. So um, I'll make it for you. I'll put it up for you and we'll see how um, you think. We, we, I, I know you guys will like it because I, I'm really excited about this. So, I'm not sure if this is my own idea. Please tell me in the comments if it is, because I, I really want to see. Um, I, I, have, I haven't seen it on, on, on any other YouTube videos. And I've looked at a lot of survival outdoor um, themed videos on YouTube. And I'm feeling if someone would think of this, then, then they would be quite excited like I am. So, I, I have not um, thought of this, and I, I know my, my wool. <laughs> it's kind of water on my hand. I, I know my wool, um, or my great my hammock was my own idea, and that worked, but the one I made, I didn't have, have enough time to work on it, because it does take a while. But, um, I'll set the wool um, blanket hammock out for you, and we'll see what you think of it. Basically, I've just tied a slip knot in this, um, and that part just goes right, right around here. Basically, I full folded up the blanket um, in half once, so that well, I'll, I'll explain why later once I put it up. But um, you'll see why. I put the slip knot on there just so it's 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 easy easy to put it um, to take the string on and off. And the blankets don't stretch, so you're good on that. Make sure you keep it up for off the ground, please. Leave that for all your bed. So I don't want this one first. So that wasn't too hard to put up. Um, and it, it, you can see this big um, fold in here. And that's, I have to do, do that on purpose. Just make sure you stretch it all the way so that it doesn't fall when you put it on. There you go. Um, now I'll take off my boots because I, I don't want, want to get it dirty. Um, but I'll take off my boots and try it out.
I'm getting it on this side because I don't want to get my feet wet because there's a lot of mud right there. But, anyways. Um, so now, we'll try it out. As you can see, I fit in it quite well, um, and the extras right here um, serve as as like a wool blanket, and 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 if, if you have a closed you no know, safety pin in your um, in your safe or in your first aid kit or um, just survival pack in general, you um, which most P PE people do I know. You can safety pin this so you don't need to worry about holding it. And even up here, you can. And it's a nice, quick, quick, quick and easy way of making a hammock. And I could, I could easily sleep in this, especially with the fire right there. Um, this, this shelter is suitable, blocking all, all the rain. So really, this is a really good alternative to like a netting hammock. I actually think I, I like it better because then I wouldn't need um, insulation or like a, a bedding pad or sleeping pad to put down as an insulation because this wool is obviously, as most of you know, very, very um, insulative. And it's even insulative when it was wet. So it's really a win-win. Um, also, you, you can make it from um, five, five, fifty paracord. Wow. There's hair, there's hair in, in my mouth. You can make it from five, fifty paracord um, which most pe people have have in their pack, um, and just a normal wool blanket, and optional clothes, safe safety pins. So um, it's really good alternative to any um, other store bought hammock. Personally, I, I, I think so. And uh, like I said earlier, the raised beds are just horrific. The hard, um, the hard lots of wood. Who says survival can't be comfy? I mean, this is incredibly comfortable. This is slightly more com comfortable than, than my bed. So, I like it. If, if you put your hood up, your head can be covered. And with the fire, like I said, easy. I think it's 40 something right now. 45. I'm just in jeans and, and, and a fleece sweater. And I'm actually hot, so it's quite nice. And obviously the paracord did stress some, so make sure you put it higher off the ground than you want because the paracord, if you if you're doing it for the first time, will stretch. So make sure you prepare for that. But other than that, this is pretty much a um, foolproof method, foolproof method of um, making a hammock. So quite nice. The whole design with the reflector and stuff is reflector with heat, um, reflect the, the um, fire heat off into me, and with this wool blanket and the reflector and the fire right there, it would be insane, really. And it's quite easy, easy to get in and out. Just get out this way because it's dry this way. And you have your boots right here. Get right out, and you would just fold it up just, just like you would in a normal wool blanket. Oh, also, I forgot to mention these things. These things are awesome. I love these things because they, um, they're called glove mitts. And as you notice, there's a flap right here. I'll put them on so I can show you. But it leaves your 
these, these are actually made out of wool that we actually got got it from um, from Dick's Sporting Goods. But you you have the flap open and your fingers are open, and that really helps. Well, let's say your Strike Force fire starter. I'll put on the other one. And where you kind of sometimes have to have like your fingers open um, to strike it, you know. But with the mittens, it would be a lot harder. But the mittens are for like what, when you're walking, so you so you don't get cold. And I like mittens over gloves um, tenfold because um, see, it's a lot harder because a lot more bulk bulking. You don't have much as much dexterity. I mean, you still can, but. It's a lot easier, right? and there's other things like carving that um, will will require your fingertips. But you still always have your gloves on. Sometimes, like in the night, you can lose your gloves if you take them off to start your fire, and you can lose them. But anyways, back to, to the mittens. The mittens are really nice because um, it has all one combined warmth. All your fingers that or all your warmth that you gen wow, all the warmth that your fingers generate. Um, <laughs> will just be captured in these wool mittens and um, just it's one big heating pad basically um, but with the gloves it's a, it's a bunch of in individual traps and that obviously does not trap as, as much um, so I, r I really like the mittens over the gloves and these were like 15 bucks I think so it's just it's not like it's an expensive buy but also the nice thing about this woven wool is um, if there's a hole, you can just sew right up, and, and you actually usually don't even notice. Thanks for watching. This is part four. Um, it's also I'm just sit, sitting on this um, this wool hammock and just making it like a chair, basically. If the fire's right there, you're good. One thing you have to be careful with this wool stuff is wool does burn easily or like char easily. With a fire right there, it, that could could be a problem. But um, usually you. you you would be okay, but um, it's good. I, I think it's a good invention. Basically, you just need a paracord and wool blanket, which is usually a standard right? two to, two items for a survival kit. But um, it's starting to rain harder now, and I don't have a cover for, for the camera. Usually, I, I use my cowboy hat, but um, right now I'm not. Um, so I'll, I'll go inside now. But um, I just thought to share that with you because I I think it's a really good design. And please tell me if it's not my idea. Or I'm sure other people have thought of it, but um, I think that I am the first one to show it on, on YouTube. So I'm actually really happy, happy about this. But um, make sure to check out my website, S U T. Or no, sorry, surviving www surviving to thriving um, I'll have a link to it below. I sell a few survival. So I'm, I'm going to start designing my own survival knife and build it um, with like a forge. Because I really have have some good ideas about that. Um, once once that's done, I'll put some up for sale, just in case. Do you guys really really like them? Um, I hope you will. But thanks for watching. Um, bye.